Welcome to our second lesson. Um, if you have not seen the first lesson, be sure and go back and do that one because these lessons build on each other. Um, in this lesson, what we are going to do, you won't need your whiteboard on this one, what we're going to do is something called phony manipulation. And that's just a fancy term that means basically moving sounds around in words. And we're going to talk more about that in later lessons, why that's so important, especially with multi-syllable words, but with a lot of words in English, why we need to be able to pull sounds out and push sounds in. But especially when we're reading, we're blending sounds, pushing them together. And when we're spelling and we're saying the sounds, we're segmenting or pulling sounds apart, okay? So what we're going to do, be doing here is some um, pulling sounds out of words, moving some sounds around, and learning Pig Latin in this video. So what I want you to do, I've got a word on the board. What I want for you to do is when my finger touches the board, I want you to say each sound. So say, when I, my finger lifts off, stop, say, stop, say, stop. Okay, so we're going to say each sound and then the whole word, okay? Let me hear those sounds. What do we have? T, w, i, n in our word, twin. Now this is, we're going to start on these ones with just simple words because we want to have this skill of moving these sounds around and how this works, okay? We're going to be moving into multi-syllable words very, very quickly so we can go far and fast. All right, so now this is your job. What is twin? I want you to say out of your mouth if we take away the t. Now you can say each of the sounds or you can just say that whole piece. That's win, right? Okay, so win, which is a real word. Sometimes you get a, a nonsense word when we do this. What is twin if we take away the N. Now, if you said I here, okay, twi, that can be I, but in the word twin, t, w, i, n, this is i, so we need to keep that as a i. So twin without the n, t, w, i, twi, right? What is twin, this is the trickiest guy, what is twin if we take away the w? What do you have left? Tin. Now, when we do this, it's a great thing to do when you're just listening. So, what is slap without the p slap, right? What is slap without the slap? So, try to do that with some words because it's, it's a very important skill that we need to really be the best readers, writers, and spellers that we can be. It's, it's very critical. All right, so now I'm going to teach you something called Pig Latin. This is quite a lot of fun. Um, because we're using that phony manipulation, pulling a sound out of a word, putting it in a new place, and then we're going to add a sound to the end. Okay, so we're going to start out with a simpler word. Oops, let me get my drawing thing here. Here we go. Oh my gosh, let's go down here. All right, so with Pig Latin, what you do is you take away the spellings up to the vowel. All right, so mug, we're going to take away the m, and so we would have ug, and then we put the m at the end and add the sound a. So mug would end up being ugme, all right, ugme. So pig Latin is something that it takes a while, to, you have to think about it, to do, and then pretty soon as a child we used to do this. I would talk in pig Latin to my friends, and it's kind of like your own secret language. So this is a great way to manipulate those sounds and um, and practice that in a fun way that you can then apply when you're actually reading and spelling and pulling sounds out of words. All right, so that would be mug. If we have a little bit longer, so we have scent. All right, you take away that first sound, add it to the end, and then add a at the end. So scent would be ense, okay? Um, I, yay, so if, if there's just a vowel, you, uh, you throw yay at the end. So I, yay, us, way, which would be was, Ent say, ent say, I was sent a uh, yay, so that's just a, uh, esn't pray, that's present. Okay, so I started with the a uh, and put that pr. So we're going to see that, but that's really what pig Latin is as you're talking with it. And then right now you might be thinking, what on earth is she talking about? Because I'm just teaching you, so don't fret. We're going to practice this some because it's really um, a great skill to have. All right, let's look at another one. Now, if you have something like flag, where there's two sounds, two consonants before you get to the vowel, you take away both of these consonants and start with that vowel. Okay, so flag would be ag, and then you add that full, and then a at the end. So flag would be ag flay, all right? That's flag. Now if you have a word like on, which I'm getting my wet board giving me grief here, on, 
All right. So when you have a word that starts with a vowel, there are no consonants to take away at the beginning, right? The vowels give us our volume, A, E, I, O, and U, um, as well as Y if it's in the middle of a word, but, um, or the end. So on, you just add yay, like you're cheering, yay, at the end. So on would be on yay. All right, that's just a pretty simple one. Um, now, if you have a, a compound word like high chair or cupcake, which is two words that we put together. So let's say we have milkshake. This one is a little bit different. So you take away the first whole word the, up to the vowel. So it, this would be ilk and then may. And shake, we've got to take away the sh and put it at the end. So we'd have ache. Shay. All right. So milkshake is ilk may ache shay. So you can kind of say it faster. All right. That makes sense. Let's erase this one. And now I'll show you if you have a multisyllable word that is not a compound word, you take away up to the vowel and just do the rest of the word. Put those consonants at the end and add a. So let's look at some of those. Uh, So people, we'd get rid of our p and put that at the end. Whoa. And then we would have epo pay. So let's try slippery without looking at it, how it's going to look at the end. Because we want to move to do this where you're not looking at it, because then you're going visual. And reading is really all about auditory, what we're saying and what we're hearing ourselves say, and then with the code to it. So slippery, if you take away up to that vowel, right, we would have Ippery, and then the s, the sl, so ippery slay. All right. Now I'm going to give you one, and let's see how you do with this one without looking at it at all, because that's how we're mostly going to do our um, our pig Latin. What about the word vacation? What would vacation sound like? Go ahead and take off up to the vowel, put those sounds that you took off or that sound or sounds at the end, and add a. What would vacation be? So we took out that v, it would be acation ve, right? Acation ve. So I yay, let's say we're gonna say I went on a vacation, okay? I yay, because we had that yay when it's just a vowel. Ent way, so we take off the w and went. On is just gonna be on yay, and then a, a yay. So I yay, ent way, on yay, a yay, and then we do vacation. Acation ve, okay? So um, I'm going to say a sentence and let's see if you can figure this one out, okay? It yay is yay old k ear hay uday te. It yay is yay old k ear hay uday te. What do you think? Here, and this is a true, true story sentence. It is cold here today. Okay, so it and is, we just added yay to the end. Cold, we did old, and then k. Ear, here would be without the huh, ear, hey. And then today, we took away the t, uday, te. All right, so this is pig Latin, Latin pulling sounds out, moving, uh, pushing sounds in. Okay, moving sounds around in words. Doing that activity is really hugely beneficial to helping with accelerating your reading. And you will see that in many of the activities that we do here. Now in the description, go, uh, go to the link there to our page that has all of our resources. I have put an article in there about Pig Latin so that you have it there. You don't have to remember all these things and you can refer to that if you would like. Um, and remember to share this with your friends if you, if you know of anyone or your family or anybody that you think would also benefit from these lessons. Do the like button, subscribe if you already haven't, so that you make sure when the next videos come out, you get them. All right, thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you at the next lesson.